Your teammate Ray Burrow was asked which teammate she wouldn't let date her younger <laughs> brother. Here's here's her answer. I don't know why she said this. Who would you not let date your sibling? Do you Who would I not let date my sibling? I mean, I have a brother. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you not let date your brother? Hmm. Lexi. <laughs> Lexi Brown. <laughs> we'll be we'll be telling her that. Okay, we'll be, we'll be letting her know. Give me the why though. I want to know. I asked her why. That was she the said. My, she why. said my standards is too high. Whose standards is too high? Mine. Oh. That's what she said. Because I said, why would you say that about me? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, what about you? Which teammate would you not want to be Ray. dating a sim? Uh, <laughs> her? Yes. And why? Cause she out of control. <laughs> Love her to death, but she she would have my sibling running all over the place after her ass. I'm dead. <laughs> oh god. All right. Well, Jamel Hill got candid about the media response to Caitlin Clark and said, "Quote: They're just covering her excellence, and that's good enough." Whereas if it feels like for black athletes to get the same amount of coverage or even fair coverage, there has to be something extra beyond basketball. Lexi, as a black woman in basketball, do you feel that athletes like yourself, Juju Watkins, and MVP Aja Wilson get the same media press simply for your game? No, but that's like, that's very obvious mm -hmm. that we don't. And I mean, and I, and I don't like to get involved in like this black, white conversations because I do know all these players and like, especially the white players that kind of just get thrusted into these conversations. It's okay, sister. I know. I'm just kind of <laughs> like, you know, I have my, my, my black sisters, obviously, but these, these other players are still my sisters in the W and, you know, I know them and care about them. So, you know, these conversations I know are hard for, for both sides, but I mean, she's right when you're, when you're a black athlete, I mean, just athlete in general, you have to like, kind of be like a little more, like you can't just be out there like getting buckets and being really good at basketball. It's like, okay, well, what what else does she do? Like what sets her apart uh -huh. more than how good she is on the court? And that's been a thing since we've been kids, I think. Yeah, but the, but the Caitlin Clark situation is a conversation only solely based on her skill set mm -hmm. and scoring points. I mean, I've that's, seen a lot that's, that's, of. I've seen criticism. She's of her breaking. Antics. She's breaking records, and so they are hyping it up. Yeah. They boosting. They putting yeah. yeast on it. Well, and it's and, it's and I have a perspective from I was in college when Kelsey Plum was breaking her record. Yeah. Nothing like this. Yeah. Not even close. Uh huh. That's a white player. Yeah. So it's just like the sensationalism of media right now. Right? Yeah, but on she. Top of but it. but but she also. When Kelsey broke the record, she had 54 points. Yeah, but she was do she's doing it at a different, like, clip, so to speak, because she's shooting his threes, and, you know, she had the little the little thing with Angel Reese. Cause yeah, I'm telling you. All that's part of it. It's all been sensationalized, yeah. and that's just the times we're in, and we just have to at least appreciate the coverage that women's basketball is getting, but still acknowledge the flaws in it, yeah. which is... When you cover black athletes, it's just different. But that's on men, men and women. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's very it's very obvious, and I don't think that it needs to be this beat down debate. Like you're right, I'm wrong. Like let's just acknowledge a thing, a thing, and how can we make it better? Yeah. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.